We usually stage harvest for one. Now that I've been maxi cropping and I've learned not to push the cops with numbers, we grow great big plants indoors even. And for one, plants have apical dominance, so they never ripen up the whole plant at once. So for one, we only cut the ripe buds off and I check it with a magnifying glass. And then I let the buds underneath it go another two or three weeks to ripen up. It's analogous to cutting off a whole tomato plant the first time you see one ripe tomato, which is what 90% of growers do. And what you want to do is to make sure each bud is ripe before you harvest it. And it has this growth inhibiting hormone in the tips that the minute you cut it off allows the new tip to start becoming a dominant one and growing. So you can chase it all the way down. There's two theories of schools on this. Should you trim it right now is why it's wet or should you trim it dry? Personally, I trim it dry. I do the big leaves when it's wet and I do the fine trimming dry because I make hash and I do it over plastic, I catch it on. Most people I would recommend doing most of the trimming wet. After that, it should be hung on coat hangers or string across the room with three or four dehumidifiers underneath it that are running at about 40-50% and about four fans running on it. It should be moving all the time and it should be hung from four to six weeks. And that's the whole curing, drying process. But you want to watch your moisture content. You don't want to let it get below 10%. At that point, you want to put it in a box with wax cardboard and let it sit in there for a while and come back to the moisture you want from the stems. It's a little trick we've learned is there is as much art to it as it is a science.